The shell feature is another useful tool that can be applied directly to a solid model. It will allow you to take solid geometry and make it hollow. This can be a powerful and time-saving technique when designing parts that call for thin walls, such as plastic products. The shell is easy to use. Once you have a solid part like I have here, you activate the shell feature by clicking on this icon. Or from the drop-down menu under Insert, Feature, Shell. The settings are rather basic. First, since this will become a hollow part, I have to input the wall thickness I want to end up with. Before taking a look at the remaining options here, let's take a look at what happens if I finish the feature right now. At first glance, it appears nothing has changed. You can see the addition of the shell in the feature manager, but the model appears identical. That is, until we take a look inside. Let's switch to a wireframe display. And now you can see the difference. We have a half inch thick cylinder with the center completely removed. Now let's take a look at the other options we have. I'll click on the shell feature and select Edit Feature. If I hold my cursor over this window, you will see a pop-up message that says Faces to Remove. Any faces that are put into this selection box will be removed from the part once you finish editing the feature. I'll click OK, and this is the result. There are two more options we'll look at. This checkbox allows me to specify whether I want the resulting wall thickness to be added to the inside or the outside of the part. When the box is checked, notice the part actually gets bigger. I'll make the shell thicker to make this more obvious. And there you see the result. The last option for the shell feature is the ability to pick faces that require a different thickness than the rest of the part. For example, if you wanted this part to have a wall thickness of half an inch, but you also want the bottom face to have a thickness of 3 inches, just select the bottom face into this window, type in 3 inches, and this is the result.